Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's important that we get this right because the American people are, are touched by air travel on a regular basis. So I'm going to use some round numbers, and uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that, that either the panel as a whole or individually you can respond and clarify. Does, does TSA handle about 850 million passengers a year? Is that roughly accurate? Yes, sir. In uh, 2023, we processed over 850 okay. million so passengers. Did, so Thank you. again, I'm using round numbers here. Because air travel is increasing, picked back up from COVID, getting back to pre-COVID levels and, and, and beyond. People are excited to be able to travel again. So there are about 850 million people buying passenger uh, tickets, buying tickets. And when we buy a ticket, we pay a security fee. It's $5.60 for a one-way trip. So we don't even notice it. We look online, we find a least expensive ticket, you know, with the best seat. On whatever airline we prefer, we choose from two or three according to airports we can use. We're just trying to get to where we're going. Trust me, there's no Americans out there making a decision on buying a ticket based upon a $5.60 security fee. But as an American, call us crazy, we would think that a security fee might be used for security. Just putting that out there as a wild thought. So you got 850 million people paying a, a minimum of $5.60 because it's 1120 for for a round trip tick. So let's just use minimal numbers. That's 4.7 billion. Is that about accurate? You're collecting somewhere between four and five billion in the TSA security fee from individual airline tickets? With 850 million travelers? Is that roughly correct? I'm not trying to put anybody on the spot. We're, we're trying to get to the, to the reality here that TSA should almost be self-funded. And Americans would think that that would be the case, but this money is being diverted. At some point in this town, a decision was made, let's just take that money from its intended purpose and, and move it over here. And the Americans, like, didn't notice that this had happened. But you've got to be able to hire and retain quality people in TSA. You can't have people paid below the standard levels of, of a similar job performance at another federal agency and think they're gonna stay because they're not. They're gonna get some, they're gonna get some experience, some time on a the job, they're gonna roll to the next job because they have their own families they're trying to support. So ladies and gentlemen, may I submit to you that there are, there are men and women on this committee on both sides of the aisle and my, my, my colleague, Mr. Lalata here, kind of cracked open this case earlier last year and said, we have to fix this. And, and we stand together to try to take that entire security fee and return it to the agency that's supposed to be using it, to return it for the, to the purpose that Americans believe we're paying for when we pay the $5.60 when we buy a one-way a, a one ticket. So the entire annual budget for, for TSA is about 11 billion. You, you should essentially be self-funding roughly half of your entire annual budget. And we're gonna fight to make that happen. My goodness, I'm gonna have to learn to speak as fast as my New York colleagues. Um, Mr. Belcher, it's good to see you again. As you know, I have requested um, quite officially and professionally some documentation uh, from the Federal Air Marshal Services, and, uh, and I've been waiting on that for about two months. And, and I'm, I am prayerful that you will, you will bring some sense of urgency back to your, to your staff that I'd, I'd like to get the documentation that I've requested. Can I count on you to at least address that with your officer?
Yes, sir, you can, and, and it's good to see you as well. Um, but I've been, I know we're running time. We, you should be, have the answer in about a week, is what I've told just this morning. I, I appreciate your attention to that matter. Mr. Chairman, I yield.